The Philippines reports 10,775 new COVID-19 cases Wednesday, January 5, the highest since October 10, 2021. The positivity rate is at 31.7%, which means nearly one in three people tested were positive for COVID-19. This is way above the 5% threshold set by the World Health Organization, which indicates the spread of the virus is under control. The health department says the cases could peak by the end of January. In an interview with Teleradio, Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Vergeres says it is assumed that the Omicron variant is already spreading in communities. The DOH also projects the cases will continue to double every day based on their daily tallies. The spike in cases comes as the Philippines records a total of 14 cases of the Omicron variant, with three of these being local cases. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Ron Jean Solante in an earlier interview said one Omicron case can infect up to 16 people. Delta infects up to 8. Meanwhile, the United States sets a global record of almost 1 million new coronavirus infections on Monday, January 3. The 978,856 new infections are nearly double the country's peak just a week ago, as the highly contagious Omicron variant shows no sign of slowing. The Tourism Department on Wednesday, January 5, suspends the accreditation of Burjaya Makati Hotel for a quarantine breach involving a Filipino traveler who returned from the United States. The DOT also revokes Burjaya's permit as a multiple-use hotel and imposes a fine equivalent to twice the rack rate of its most expensive room. The traveler, identified as Gwyneth Chua, skipped quarantine at Burjaya and partied in Poblacion, Makati City. She later tested positive for COVID-19 and so did several of the people she partied with. The tourism department says the hotel admitted not just the facts of the incident, but also its lapses. But President Rodrigo Duterte says hotels shouldn't be held liable if guests skip mandatory quarantine. They have no authority and no the power. Ang makapahinto lang sa kanila, yung government personnel, uh, place uh, put in uh, there in the hotel to work uh, in the matter of uh, placing people under quarantine. It has to be a govern government uh, personnel or employee. Justice Secretary Menardo Guevara, meantime, says that Republic Act Number no. 11332 states that hotel personnel can be held liable for such breaches. On Wednesday, January 5, Acting Presidential Spokesman Carlo Nograles clarifies Duterte's remarks, saying the President's statement does not absolve hotel owners and staff of their negligence. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests, while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. President Rodrigo Duterte on Tuesday, January 4, appeals to religious groups to stop holding mass gatherings as the country battles yet another COVID-19 surge. All gatherings uh, are not allowed. This is just an appeal to the hierarchy of the church uh, to look at it uh, on a broader understanding that uh, it would really be a super spreader. Like Duterte, Health Secretary Francisco Duque III also recommends a suspension of mass gatherings and a return to online activities. Dr. John Wong, a doctor who advises the government, also tells Duterte that upcoming major events like the celebration of the Feast of the Black Nazarene or Traslacion, Feast of Santo Nino, and the Chinese New Year may become super spreader events. The Traslacion this year has already been suspended by Manila City Hall. Acting Presidential Spokesman Carlo Nograles on Wednesday, January 5, says Quiapo Church will be closed on January 7 to 9 to curb the spread of COVID-19. Nograles says the government's pandemic task force says holy masses will be held online nationwide during the Feast of the Black Nazarene. This is the second time that Traslacion, the procession in honor of the Black Nazarene, has been cancelled. Prices of goods rose at a much faster pace in 2021 than what the government aimed for. 
The Philippine Statistics Authority reports Wednesday, January 5, inflation for the entire 2021 hit 4.5%. This is higher than the government's target of 2% to 4%. National statistician Dennis Mappa says prices of meat, transportation, and fuel are the top drivers of inflation in the entire 2021. Social Economic Planning Secretary Carl Chua says the local supply of meat, especially pork, needs to be augmented by pork imports in order to tame prices. Banco Central ng Pilipinas Governor Benjamin Diokno meantime says supply distributions and agricultural damage from Typhoon Odette, international name Rai, will likely result in a temporary uptick in the prices of food items. Embattled star pole vaulter E.J. Obiena reiterates his desire to keep competing for the Philippines despite his expulsion from the national team by Philippine Athletics Track and Field Association or PATAFA. In a statement Tuesday night, January 4, Obiena says, while he is saddened by Batafa's decision, he is not really surprised by the development. Obiena says he will also keep training to represent the Philippines in international competitions. Batafa, aside from dropping Obiena from the national team, will file an Estafa complaint case against him and file a complaint with World Athletics' governing body against his coach Vitali Petro for alleged violations of the Integrity Code of Conduct. Obiena also says he does not jump for Patafa President Philip Elahuico, but for his beloved nation. Philippine Sports Commission Chairman William Butch Ramirez, for his part, calls on Patafa to retract its decision to drop Obiena from the national team. In a related development, Olympic bronze medalist Yumir Marshall expresses his support for Obiena. In a Facebook post Wednesday, January 5, Marshall says Patafa's decision invalidates the efforts and sacrifices EJ made to bring honor to the country.